yeah hello guys you are welcome to another amazing tutorial on Obuti fashion channel a while ago i posted images on how to make a, this a beret cap on my facebook group and a lot of people were asking me to make a video on how to sew it if you are here to join the facebook group do where to check the link in the description box below and then on this video i'll be taking you to the process of how you can achieve this so without any further delay let's get started the material that it's mostly used in uh, making this is a uh, asho uke this is the material they normally use for for cap so once the, you get this uh, material for cap the first thing you have to do is to remove the 10 inches from this so this 10 inches will be used for the cover of this uh, cap so you have to first remove this so that whatever you have you that is what you will, you will have to play with while you are doing the sewing so you have to reserve this for the for the cover so the next thing to do is to measure 4.5 here so you measure 4.5 or true and then you roll it straight down So please if this is the first time you are checking on this channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i drop an amazing video like this again and for you to also benefit from a lot of vid videos on this uh, channel as well so after you have uh, cut this uh, excess out the next thing to do is to apply the gum stay so on this i'm using a add gum stay some people also call it a uh, fusing depending on how what you know it as so you apply the gum stay on this so once you finish the applying the gum stay the next thing to do is to proceed to the sewing machine and do the stitches so the measurement of this cap size is a 22 so you have to add a 2 inches for it so that 2 inches is for the seaming allowance so whatever your cap size is just add 2 inches to it so after that then you hold the pleating like this all through so these are the excess that i have now so i'm having this uh, much of a excess because this is uh, ash okay that is this material is more than what is uh, used for cap so i just cut it out from uh, another material entirely so this now i have to go the pleating on this half half inch or through so that is what i'm holding on this so please whatever the material you have that is what you should play around with so but this one i'm having excess material so that is why i'm holding this uh, this much so use here now you can leave a uh, five inches here before you start the folding of the pleating measure five inches so that is a five inches and then you hold the pleating all through the distance here will be 1.5 so that is the distance we put in between each uh, pleating so it's a 1.5 and then you fold the 0.5 in that is for the for the pleating and you do this all through and if you are yet to click the like button on this video please don't forget to click the like button so that a lot of people will be able to benefit from it as well Once you are done with the stitches then you measure it so you can see what i have here this is more than the more than enough this is more than what i need so i have to lose from it and this is it after i've lost it and i want to fix, put another plating for this uh, side that i leave before which is a uh, five inches so i'm reducing the distance because i have uh, enough material to to play with so please if you are using the normal size of a cap you will not have uh, this enough uh, material 
to work with so just manage your material as you have it so you let me measure it again and see what i have here and you can see that this is 24 and the plating is too close to the to that 24 so i have to lose that uh, last uh, plating and this is it after i've uh, lose it and i, I now have uh, the 24 inches so i can now put the plating on the other end Once you are done with this, you can go to the table and press it. So this is it now. After I've already done the pressing, I can see what I have. This is uh, 24 inches. So now you have to place this uh, another material which will be for the band. So you can use the material you cut from this uh, excess. You can as well use it. But I want to make another material to for this so that it will be more visible for people to see that uh, there is a band there. And the widening is uh, 2 inches. And then you stitch it with a 0.5 or true. As you are done with the stitches, you can then press it like this. And then this is it after I've already done the, the pressing. Then the next thing to do now is to apply the cover that is what we use to face it that is the lining what we use to turn it inside so you cut the wideness of this to be 4.5 also so this is a 4.5 so that is the wideness of this and then you stitch it with a 0.5 as well So now you open it and then you top stitch it as well. So you top stitch on the on the white material. After you have it done with the stitches, the next thing to do now is to stitch the cap size. So the size of this cap is a uh, 22 inches. So that is a uh, 22 inches divided by two will give me 11 inches. So whatever your cap size is, just divide it into two and then you stitch on whatever you have there. So I'm stitching on 11 inches here. So that is 22 divided by two. That is a uh, 11 inches. So you turn it to the other side like this and then you stitch it all straight down as well once you are done with the stitches you open it like this and then you turn it inside you can now stitch at the the edge that is in between the white and this uh, ash just to hold it together and please if you are doing this make sure you do it gently so that you not stitch the white thread on the ash color so you are stitching in between the white and the and the ash and then the stitches will fit in between that uh, that joining please if you are yet to subscribe don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you are enjoying this video so far and then if you are yet to click the like button make sure you smash the like button as well and you can as well drop your comment if you enjoyed this uh, video so once you are done with that the next thing to do now is to trim out this uh, excess we have at the upper part here to make it uh, equal as well once we are done with that you can now stitch the edge to hold it together that is the other edge to hold it uh, together now we can now prepare the we can now prepare the cover so this is it now so the 10 inches we cut before this is it and then the other excess we cut out from the 
from the material you can join it together to make it uh, more wider than this and then you open it once you open it like this you place another material which will be for the facing and then you trim it out so you can now stitch it around this is to hold it uh, together As you are through, you can then trim it uh, round. Now you fold it like this to locate the, the center. You notch it like this, turn it to the other side and then you notch it. So you place the two notching together like this and then you notch this uh, side notch this other side as well so this will give us the front and the back with the with the side so the joining here so just locate the joining so this is the joining now this is the back of this uh, cap and then you notch the front also and then you place the two notching and the joining together and then you notch it on this uh, other side notch the other side also so this will give us the front, back, right side and then the left uh, side. So we just locate the joining. So this is the joining now. And then you place it at the back like this. And then once you set it very well, then you mark it round. After you have uh, marked it, then you start from this uh, joining and then you stitch it on this uh, line all through. So I make sure that the notching is uh, equal on all sides. So this is the line now, that is this for the back. You can see that joining, so that is the back and then you place it on the marking. So you have to trace the marking with the stitches, so this thing now should be at the edge of the marking so that will give you the round shape of this uh, cap so just stitch it all through like this and then make sure that that uh, notching is uh, aligned or the four notching aligned to the other you can see this one and make sure that you are not holding a pleating on the cap and then you are following the the marking also you can see this notching here that it's equal so that is how you will do for others as well Once you are done with the stitches, just trim it all through, round like this. After the cutting, then you weave it round and weave the edge if the machine is strong enough to weave it and then you turn it inside. As you turn it, the next thing to do now is to prepare the thing that we put on the top, that is on the edge of this uh, cap. So you can cut the plastic of a thread and then you cut it like this to reduce the wideness and then you reduce from it. After you cut it like this, just close this uh, two edge together and then you use a thread to hold it together like this, you just tie it together.
so this is it you can now take uh, another material to wrap it you just fold this inside and then you take a thread and then needle to to tack it around like this it is to hold the edge Once you are done with that, just pull all the edge inside and then you put the needle in it to hold it together like this. So this we are what we are stitching inside here, tacking inside here is to tack the edge together. So just tack it like this. So that is it. You can see that. So now let's do the do the ironing. So this is the front now. So you can start from the from the front. So this is the back. That's the back. That's the joining where the joining is. So that is the back. So across it, you take it like this at the middle. And then you press it round to the back. Make sure you are setting the pleating and the pleating is not uh, folding. Apply pressure on it to make it uh, to give it a give ghetto. So you are on it to the back. And about getting to the center you stop and then you start from this other end you do it to the to the front and that is it so we are almost through so you just iron it like this from inside so now you iron the edge to make it uh, relax so just the edge and now let's fix the this uh, thing to it it's fix it from the back and you place it at the center so you fix it from the back so just try to notch it pass it through in out in out like a three like a five times and then after you have done that then you can now you can now tack it so that is it so now let's see the result of uh, what we have been doing you can see that you can see it so this is the former one that i did before and this is the one we just did now and see how beautiful and nice it is so please if you direct value in this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell till the next time that i'll bring you another amazing video like this again i say thank you for watching and then bye for now